So I, I, one of the things one, I wanted to kind of elaborate too on the these these other serial killers and stuff. Did they like? Did you read about anything that they had done and mimic anything they did or go to the place they did it or anything that you would say that you you know paralleled or did anything? No. Nothing specific. New ideas. Yours were all new ideas. <laughs> no uh, other looks. Like I don't know how new it is. <laughs> well, different. Same locations. No. Anything like that? No. I don't think so. Not consciously. You know, history about these people, like where they were born, their, where they where they what their position in the family was, their profile. I'm yeah, I know. I know a lot about them. Just nothing special, though. Just what anybody could read about them. Mm -hmm. It's not like I made a hobby out of researching them, but it's it's just one of those sort of things that anytime I came across anything related to it, I would read it or tune into it or. Is that do you is that where you put your in, you in the same category as? Some of these people, especially like you said, Bundy, because you kind of have some type. Well, of I relate to them, but I don't really put myself in the same category. I don't know. Because you know, like later on, and I don't know whether why what his motives were. Bundy's were later on, and while he was in jail, wanting to help law enforcement, and he was trying to help with the Green River. Green River. Those he was. Things. Did not know that. Do you think that's something that serial killers? Do you think that he? And there's no place like where serial killers talk on the internet, or you don't, you can't see someone and see same traits and those kind of things. Oh, I think that. Um, I think there have been people I've talked to over the years that um, I definitely get a vibe off of be just because I um, have a hard time controlling my own so I pick up on uh, things that people do to to misdirect Purpose attention misdirect. yeah attention from certain areas of their lives or certain things they say same thing I do type of thing you talked about Matthew Perkins before, is that kind of the guy in the military you were talking about? Is that kind of what you're talking about? Similar, yeah. He was he, he was kind of different in that um, he had a really rough time as a teenager kind of thing, mm -hmm. so I don't know how much of... Uh, how much of... The things I picked up for him from him were things that uh, he couldn't really control, and how much was like leftover, like damaged sure. goods type stuff. Because I know he was on heroin and stuff before he got in the army, so I know he went through some pretty heavy stuff before he was even in the army. So, so on those on those aspects of his life, I couldn't really relate to him. Mm -hmm. But um, there were other things we talked about that I definitely, you know. There was a point where I felt like I really shouldn't hang out with him anymore, just because I was afraid certain things might come up, and you know. Mm. So you had something in common. Yeah. Was he around your age? Yeah, I think so. Do you know where he was from? I mean, you mentioned he came kind of from kind of a bad background. I think he was from uh, Ohio. Was he still in when you got out? He got out either right after I did or before, slightly like, like before. He didn't re-enlist. Ever hear what happened to him? Last I talked to him, he was working for a telemarketing place in Cleveland, I think. So back in Ohio and stay out of trouble, or did he, you know? I, I mean, know. obviously he's, he's not going to tell you. Yeah, we had a pretty short sure conversation over the phone. There was a time, there was just for a minute I was... I think it was shortly after I discovered the internet. I uh, did some searches and found some people that I had known in the military, mm -hmm. kind of more out of a curiosity thing than to reconnect with them. And I called a few of them, and 
we talked, but like I say, I was never really close with any of them when I was in the army, so. And most of them, it seemed like they had kind of gone downhill mm -hmm. after they got out of the army. Yeah. I think there were a couple that had dishonorable or less than honorable discharges and stuff like that, so. Do you know if his was? I don't know if his was, or I think his was honorable, but mm -hmm. I don't know for sure. So just more small talk kind of stuff, nothing. Yeah, the, when I talked to him, he was... Neither of us were really social. It's not like... I mean, I'm sure if he had, we'd ended up in the same state, we probably would have stayed friends, but it wasn't mm -hmm. like we were going to have a long-term friendship, relationship, yeah. long-distance type 